Thank you. History tells us that radio ran for about 15 to 20 years and was the main source of family entertainment. From a tiny garage to large palatial studios and exotic theaters. Now, in the 21st century, radio's back, if you only know where to find it. Mystery Play Internet Radio is your source for old-time radio. And now, let's listen to a few clips from radio programs from the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. of Campbell Soup presents the Campbell Playhouse, Orson Welles, producer. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, this is Orson Welles. The late William Archer was as formidable a gentleman as you would wish to meet. From 1884 to 1923, he wrote dramatic criticism for almost every important paper in England. And almost every American and English playwright at one time or another winced beneath his ten lashings. Then later in life, he developed a secret passion, a disgraceful passion for a dramatic critic. He wanted to write a play. Mr. Archer was a very thorough old gentleman. The first thing he did was to write a book in which he explained exactly and in great detail how plays should be written. It became a classic. No young playwright since then would dream of writing a play without carefully consulting and following the rules and dictates laid down by Mr. William Archer. No young playwright, that is, except Mr. William Archer, who at the age of 63 sat down and wrote a play in which he took care to break every single one of the rules that he'd set down in his manual. It was called the Raja of Rook. It was changed to the Green Goddess. Opened on December 27th, 1920 at the Walnut Street Theater in Philadelphia with Mr. George Arliss in the leading part and was an immediate and overwhelming success. Ladies and gentlemen, it only remains for me to tell you that our guest tonight is the star of such fine motion pictures as The 39 Steps, The General Dies at Dawn, The Prisoner of Zender, and the new Paramount Picture Cafe Society, the beautiful and talented Madeline Carroll. But before we begin, a word from Ernest Chapel. Did you lose an election bet yesterday? Feel a bad cold coming on? Want to get away from it all? We offer you escape. <laughs> groping in the midnight dimness of a gigantic department store, and suddenly you realize that you're not alone, but a hundred eyes are glaring at you from the shadows, a hundred hands reaching for your throat, and your most urgent desire is to escape. Escape, produced and directed by William N. Robeson, and carefully plotted to free you from the four walls of today for a half hour of high adventure. The Johnson Wax Program with Fibber McGee and Molly. The makers of Johnson's Wax and Johnson's self-polishing glow coat present Marion and Jim Jordan as Fibber McGee and Molly with Bill Thompson, the King's Men, and Billy Mills Orchestra. The show opens with you. Captain Lee Quinn. 
specially transcribed tales of the dark and tragic ground of the wild frontier, the saga of fighting men who rode the rim of empire, and the dramatic story of Lee Quinn, Captain of Cavalry. Good evening, friends of the Creaking Door. This is your host to welcome you once again into the inner sanctum. Come in. Come in and meet our newest guest. He'd been married for ten years and everything was going fine until one night at dinner his wife asked him to pass the knife, which he did, right through her. Then he hit her body in the town bell. That's where he made his mistake because the next morning she uh, told on him. <laughs> If you've enjoyed what you've heard so far, please become a patron of Mystery Play Internet Radio. Your support will ensure continued broadcasting and the creation of podcasts and a new feature of, of animation for the various radio programs. Please consider any amount and contribute in support of Mystery Play Internet Radio. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Fans of old-time radio, give us kids a chance. Please support MPIR and share old-time radio with my generation. Go to www.mpir-otr.com and pledge your support today. www.mpir-otr.com and I'll give you a big kiss. Mwah! Mystery Play Internet Radio Fan. Now is the time to support MPIR. www.patron.com forward slash MPIR. Here's how it works. When you become a patron, you're agreeing to give Mystery Play Internet Radio a tip of an amount you set. You set the monthly maximum to make sure you're always within your budget. Choose the amount, enter the payment information, and you're done www.patron.com forward slash MPIR, empowering a new generation of old-time radio content. Pledge your support today, www.patron.com forward slash MPIR. <laughs> 